First, we'll remove the optical drive caddy, held into place by notches and four screws. Then, install the SSDs by removing four thumb screws from the backplane and sliding out the sleds. These are toolless mounts, so you can snap the SSDs directly into the sleds, then slide the sleds back into the rear of the 250D until they snap into place. Remove the back plate for the power supply bay, then loosely attach the plate to the back of the power supply. Don't tighten it all the way. Slide the PSU back into the bay, replace the retaining screws, then tighten the back plate screws. We're setting up the 240mm radiator as an exhaust, so attach the fans as shown using the included screws and Allen wrench. I've also attached the fittings and tightened them with a 5 8 wrench, but don't get too attached, we'll undoubtedly replace these later. Slide the radiator into the case, then use the appropriately sized screws to mount it against the rails. Install the fittings and caps to the 140mm radiator. Then use two case screws to attach the intake fan to the front of the case. This will make it easier to line up the radiator without having to carefully sandwich the fan in the process. Use the other screws included with the radiator, along with washers, to line up and affix the radiator. Then remove the original two case screws and finish mounting the fan and radiator to the case. Mount the motherboard and install the needed fittings, tightening them with either an adjustable wrench or standard wrench. Then mount the video cart and install the necessary fittings and caps.